I'd like to uh, talk a little bit about our new product releases that we've been working on. As you know, we have uh, developed our platform called Perfect Mind to be able to do and be just more than a software. Uh, we started with our office apps, uh, which really handles your emails, your events, your calendaring. It takes care of your checking and attendance. And that's how we started with our mass software. Then we start thinking how we're going to make it easier for small business owners. So last year, we introduced our new family of financial apps called Perfect Books, which takes care of your billings, which it does your expenses automatically, paperless, as well as being able to take pictures of your receipts and upload your expenses immediately and quickly. So as we're developing the software to help small businesses, including yourself, we start noticing new world of internet opens up. The new online world. A new phenomenon, right? What do you call this new media that everyone talks about? Social media. All of a sudden, it changed the game. When you had to put the hangers and the print and go through email marketing, you found out that all your customers are spending a lot of time on Facebook. They're spending a lot of time on YouTube. All the conversations happening there. Some businesses start taking advantage of it, while the majority didn't. The majority, even today, they're still spending money on advertising and trying to get it work, and because they are not familiar with the technology. Social media was a great phenomenon, so that got our attention at Perfect Mind. So we had to come up with solution that can actually help us and help you to run your business more efficiently. It wasn't just about expenses, and it wasn't just about your office apps. It was about getting you new customers. Some of the facts about Facebook that is up there. Everybody starts thinking, how do I find a small business? Do I open the yellow pages? Do I go on Google and search? Yes, they might do that. But before they do that, they want to know who you are, what you do how good you are. At the same time, they want to know who else is taking advantage of your product and services. So they come probably on your Facebook, because they are logged in already probably 80% of the time, checking their friends' photos, right? And search for your school. And search by your name. And search for your business. To find out how many people actually like your business. Doesn't that suck? Because you could be a world champion, right? You could be teaching. You could ha be having a great, successful business in the last 10 years. Now, all of a sudden, what matters is like, because you're just new into this. So I go to your fan page, and all of a sudden, I see only like 35 likes. And that's going to make me to make a decision whether you're good or not. It's kind of not fair. The rule is not fair. But it's the truth, right? You probably do that as well. People who have the most likes means they're more popular. If they're more popular, meaning they're good. If you go to a restaurant that is empty, are you going to go eat there? Or are you going to see the restaurant beside it is popular and it's packed? You're going to go to a restaurant that is packed. Because more people like it. So the food must be good. So. What we've done is we try very hard to see, OK, we're going to help small businesses to bring in more people and more of their customers and leads to their fan pages as well so they can increase their likes. But then at the end of the day, you might have 10,000 likes. How does that turn into a business? What is the ROI on likes? And don't look at only your own business, because we're not. If we're trying to bring the best technology to you, we, might, we must have look outside of our own industry. And we do that all the time. We look into other specific industries to see how they've been successful at it. 
If 70% of people pay for their likes, meaning they advertise instead of selling a product and service to increase their likes, if I spend $1,000 and I get 10 people like my fan page, what is the ROI on that? How much money I make from that? It's not clear, is it? So what is really great for Facebook, it's not really great for small businesses. Because you're going to start a new website, a new fan page, which is like a website, right? And now you have these two websites that you have to manage. When I, I, I had hardly hard, enough time to manage one, now I've got two, right? And then there's Flickrs and there's YouTube, and then you upload a picture on Flickrs and people all of a sudden starting conversation there, which you don't know what they're saying, right? That doesn't work. It's great for Facebook, because you're bringing your students, your customers, to Facebook. But how's that great for you? If you start a fan page tomorrow, do you think anybody would ever visit it? Do you think? They would not. You have to go and promote it. You have to go and advertise. You have to go and announce it to your clients and customers and students and ask them to go and like your fan page. You need to send emails to promote your fan page. So who is that good for? It's your customers. You're asking them to come here, right? So what happens to your website? That's good for Facebook. I, I can't see that how, how that is good for you. They're saying, yeah, everybody's on Facebook, 600 million users on Facebook, right? Yes, 600 businesses are on Facebook, correct. But are, can they check you out? Are they checking you out? They're checking the people who are advertising and again going back to Facebook. I'm not against Facebook. I'm not against fan page. It's actually it's a must for a business. But what I'm saying is that what happened to your website? Websites all of a sudden got forgotten, right? No more updates, old contents, right? It's kind of nothing's happening. Same content you had last year still is there. Same picture, right? <laughs> nothing, nothing changed. So people come to your website and say, ah, I don't want to go to this. I want to go to a fan page because there are more people. People always love to go places that are more people, right? People like to go to a place where they see content as changing. So what are the existing problems with current websites and why people don't go to it? One of the reasons, the big reasons is they're not interactive, right? Your customers cannot log in. People can't log in and do things together and share things and communicate with you. Are there problems or there's no conversation really happening? If I'm unhappy about your service or your product, I can't go there and say, I'm sad, I'm mad, right? You don't let them to do that on your website. So what people do, they go somewhere else and do it behind your back which is gonna cause more problems. You want them to come to your website to do that so you can see what's going on. Other problems is content is usually outdated. So these are some of the problems with the websites. Some of the ones, some other problems that you might not see because you haven't seen anything better is the fact that your customers can come to your website and interact with your customer service. They can actually interact with your Office applications, your calendar, know their classes. How many of you would like if a student's credit card doesn't go through, he knows before you know? Pick up your hands. So instead of you know, pick up the phone, call the students, get the answer machine, then follow up and call next week. He gets an email, he logs in, and he puts his new credit card into your system. Without you knowing, that credit card will get processed automatically. Isn't that nice? Why should we waste? We talk about green, right? Why should we waste resource time, office time, electricity, internet time to do things that the customers can do themselves a lot quicker and faster and better? 
and they love you for it. Right? Why can't somebody book themselves for an introductory lesson themselves? 24 hours a day. Why can't they, you know, discuss that with the grandma and say, do you think this time is good or that time is good? Instead of calling you if you answer your phone when you're not teaching class. Right? So one of the problems with our current today's websites is because they, they do not connect to your customer service. Right? Some of the problems we talk about Facebook fan pages, you've got lots of likes. How do you turn it into business? Yes, there are uh, third-party apps out there. We call them disconnected apps. Apps that you can put on your Facebook, right, and, and sell something. How does that connect to your billing? How does that connect to your stuff you're selling? Then you've got to get another app for contest, another app for this. So another sets of apps. You didn't have enough on your own website. Now you've got to have more on your fan pages. And they're all disconnected. That won't work. I don't see that be working, especially for small businesses. The small businesses who do not want to spend on resources, time, they don't have IT people. They're not technical. They want everything in one place. They want to have their office apps. They want to have their financial apps, the billings and bookkeepings automated. And then also, they want their website to connect to it so they can give great customer service to their to current customers and the future customers. So back to the problems of the website. Was there anything else in the problems of the websites that you guys see? Remember we talked about if you start a website, yourdomainname.com, nobody shows up. Nobody will be there. That's because you have to promote it. You have to advertise it. How much money that costs. What we want to do, we want to change that. We have a new product. It's called Social Site. We talk about three in one. We brought you the office apps. We brought you the financial apps. And now we're going to bring back your website to life with social site. So not a website, but social site. The number one problem with websites, they weren't interactive. We're going to make sure they will be interactive. We're going to make sure that everybody, every customer of yours that are already on Facebook, they can easily come to your website as they were on your fan page. As easy. Meaning, once they join your website, same as if they like your fan page, we call it join for the website, for social site. As soon as they do that, every time they're logged into their Facebook and they come to your social site, they will be automatically logged in. You know who they are, they know who you are, they're connected, they can create these conversations. So their interactivity, it gets a lot bigger. Other part of it, every single apps that we have on your social site will be all socially driven, meaning allow your students, invite other people to come to your events. How many people like that? You have a tournament and somebody joins, or you have an intro lesson, somebody joins, and then all of a sudden they invite three other friends to come to the same intro lesson. Do you like that? How much money that saves, right? You don't need even to mention it, it's there. I can actually, right after I book myself, invite everybody else comes and book. What would that do to the conversation? How would that promote your website when that shows up on their Facebook and all their friends can see? So every app that we're gonna build on the social site, number one, the apps are not gonna be disconnected. Remember, the word is Connected apps. They all work together. It connects to your back office, it connects to your billing, it connects to your website, it connects to your calendar, and they all work together. So being able to do that in every single app is what we've done. We're going to allow you not only when somebody book for an appointment to share that with their friends, we're going to also allow when somebody buys something from you online, they can also send that to their friends to also come and buy. Wouldn't that be nice? It's Christmas time, somebody buys a gift for their friend. It's a cool martial arts gift. All of a sudden, all their friends can see and can also buy from your school. What kind of promotion does, again, that does to your school? 
instead of spending money on advertising. So how do we solve the problem of a conversation? Remember we talked about fan pages. One of the great reasons of fan pages is because conversation is happening there, where people chat and talk. How do we bring that to your website? We have a new app I'm proud to release. It's called Lounge. So instead of Facebook wall, it's actually a social site, Lounge, where it brings your conversation to your website. And one of the great things about this is every time anybody comes to your website, whether it's a student or a lead that is trying to find or book themselves for a lesson or buy something from you, when they come here, I bet that's the first tab they're going to click on. They want to see who is talking there. People's habit is changing. They won't want to see this 500 page of writing about you. They want to see who talks about you. Right? That's why our social media service is so popular, because we create conversation for you. A conversation that gets attention. A conversation that people do share. Instead of me putting an ad and, and nobody sees anymore, that conversation, if it gets shared 1,000 times, this is how you promote. This is the new way of promoting your business. So how do we bring that conversation to your website? It's Lounge. So the, the communication is happening there. People will be able to join. And the great part of the Lounge now is listen to this part. You've got Twitter. You've got Facebook. What else do you have? Anybody else? Good, you have nothing else. That's great. Okay, you got LinkedIn. Okay, YouTube, right? The great thing about Lounge and social sites is that you don't have to go to all these places anymore. You come here, you put something in, boom, it's everywhere. It's going to be on all your social sites. It's going to be on your Facebook, it's going to be on your Twitter if you want to. You actually synchronize that. So, Everything is going to happen on your side. Everything starts with your side. Why? Because this is where you do business, on your side. Your domain name, something that you work hard for. And you'll bring everybody to the same place. In case you want to sell something, in case you have an announcement to make, you're going to make it in one place. Now, I'm not, again, against fan pages. You need to continue that. But working with the fan pages and social site is just the perfect match. Other part of the um, other part of the social site that we talked about was very difficult to update is not no longer is going to be difficult. You don't need even to call us. First of all, you get what you see. You see, I'm like here. Whatever I see is what my customers are looking at, right here in this page. So if tomorrow I want to change that martial arts business made simple. Business made simple. I want to change that. I all go there. I go there. It's like an email, just like a typewriter. Just type that. All you have to do is click on save, and you're done. Everybody will see your new beautiful website that is updated. And on any page, you can do that. Very easy to do. That's another great feature of social site. Now, mobiles are growing, growing very rapidly. Do you agree? A lot of your students have a smart phone. Android, iPhone, now Windows 7. Phones are no longer phone, they're computers, right? And uh, I was reading an article, actually, they were saying that 70% of the people read more news on mobiles than they read on any PC. Computer on the go. So why haven't we thought about that? How do our students are trying to find us? How do our customers going to find us? Are they going to find us on their PC or on their mobile? Which one? On their mobile. Where are they going to search? The mom's busy trying to find a place for their son. Where are they going to search? On their mobile. They're not going to turn on the PC. It takes 10 minutes just to turn on. Right? Windows 8, they said they're going to solve that problem. Right now, they haven't. So mobile becomes important. Having a mobile site of your website, it also becomes very important. You don't want to have this big website where people have to zoom and move and see and find information. Because on a little tiny phone, 
you cannot see this big, huge website. Social side solved that problem with social side mobile soft. So check that out. That's the exact same version of the cway.perfectmind.com, where you can go with your mobile, and this is what you'll get. Same content. You update it once in the same place, same record. You pick it, you update, and it will be done. You've got a mobile version. Last but not least, very important. This is a big announcement for us, beside the customer service. Is, um, I'll go back to that again. Is how do we spend less money? In this economy, the more money you can save, the better. How do we spend less money to advertise? How do we do that? Anybody knows how? How do we get more students without advertising? Come on, pick up your hands. You must have an idea. You've done it all these years. What is the biggest? Referral, word of mouth. The biggest advertising we can have. Now tell me, how many of you are actually managing your word of mouth in your school? Hands up. Have a list. This person helped me by bringing a new client. This person did this. Let me thank him at least. Let me reward him at least. How many people do that? Can you pick up your hand? Beautiful. I love that. Why are you doing that? Because you're encouraging them to do more. Because you know it works. Because you know you will not spend a penny on Google AdWords or print advertising. If your customer is happy with you, he will be happy to bring another customer to you. And I hope you do that for us too. Because 55% of our customers, they all come through referrals. How many businesses do you know they actually invest in such a tool to manage that? Only enterprise level companies you see with such a tools to be able to manage referrals and affiliate sites. One of the biggest change that you'll see in social site is that we changed the name advertising, credit to Mr. John Malik, to bribertizing. Okay? So if it's spending money on your ads, you spend that money on your customers. You encourage them to bring other people to your business. No more advertising. Your customers will be happy with you, and they'll stay with you longer, because it's proven that when they train and bring family members, they stay in your business a lot longer. You encourage that. For the first time, our new app in social site called Credit will solve that problem. So what is credit? Credit is a way to increase what actually already works, which we've done for years, all of us, by increasing that method of advertising called bribertizing. You'll be able to actually give people credit when they join your site. Can you give them credit when they like your fan page? Can you? Right now you can't. But if they join your social site, they can get credit. So give them credit. If they refer someone on the second line there you see, you can give them credit. It's very important. So the referral credit, and also some important thing that maybe not a lot of people think about, we call it visit credit. Every time they visit your website, give them a credit, right? The dollar, $1 credit, it equals $1 of a spending. Where would they spend that money? If you give somebody credit, where would they spend that money? In your business, not somewhere else, in your business. So if you give a new lead, how much are you willing to give credit? Come on, I just want to test that before I tell you. $50, you're cheap. It's probably costing you more, you just don't know it. Okay? 
How much are you willing to give? I can't hear you. 50? OK. I guess that's a number. Anybody wants to give $300? No? You would? Well, how much is your membership? And you're willing to give $300? Wow. Put your hands together for him. Come on. And he probably, spent, he probably makes more than $700. Because I'll tell you, I'll calculate your ROI. If somebody joins your school, your business, for one year, how much that would put in your pocket? $1,000, right? Some schools probably two and three. Now, what if they stay more than one year? Then how much money that is? How many percentage of them go to second year and third year? Don't forget to calculate all your ROI, right? So now, all of a sudden, the 1000 the 700 is 1400 Are you willing to spend $300? Yes. And you are. If you calculate all the money you spent on promotion, on going out to the parks, to the tournaments, and all the things you do to bring every single customer, you calculate that divided by your cost in every single month, every single year, you'll notice that you are spending that money. Now, if you give somebody actually $100 credit, how much did you actually give them? If they buy from your pro shop, how much? $50, right? Because you up your prices at least 50%. So you have given $100 credit, but it's actually 50. Now credit is a great way to get rid of your advertising and change that with your privatizing. Now the credit works like this. It's all built into your social site automatically. People come to your site. The first thing they're going to see on top right there, they're going to see get credit. If they come in with their Facebook, they're going to see their Facebook picture there too. They cl click on get credit, and they can check all the credits they've collected from you from visiting your site. As you can see, the visits credit here is like $1. But you can make that 10 cents. And people, if they go multiple times in one day to your website, they'll get one credit, one time credit anyway. So if they visit your website 20 times in a month, times 10, 20 cents, how much that is? All right. I'll let you calculate that. You're probably thinking, I'm not going to go bankrupt with this, right? Don't be scared, guys. Spend money on your customers. And you will get 10 times, 10-fold back. And they can also see how much the credit they got by joining. For the first time, we'll give you a tool for them to know when every time they refer you to someone, they'll be rewarded for it. And they'll be actually keep tracking of that. So credit is actually built into our product. And here it is, your social site. Our new product, the three-in-one, this is the third sections of it. We did your office apps, we did your financial apps, and now social site, which is going to help you with the conversations, turn it into a mobile site, give you a social website that you need, not a static, no interactive website, a social website where people can take advantage of your customer service application, being able to come into your software, book themselves, and create a case, customer service case, for you to look at, and also to refer someone, as well as helping you to stop advertising. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy our new products. <laughs>